All right, everybody out there in the interwebs. Um, I am doing Sinigun, like I said earlier. And this is it. I boiled this per my mom. Um, not to cook it, but to get rid of all of the, um, all, uh, you know, I'm going to call this fat or sediment and things like that. But uh, that's uh, one of the steps. That's an optional step. So we can get some clear broth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and dump this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put everything in a pressure cooker. All right? This is just a prep step to get clear broth and that is something that my mom does doesn't mean that everybody else has to do it all right so what are the other ingredients uh there's a lot of things you can do but i got green beans about a pound and a quarter pound and a half of green beans i had went ahead and trimmed them slash manicured them um i got the mustard greens and i'm gonna probably cut those uh probably into thirds and then i got um uh one onion uh just i just uh chopped them up with the diamonds and then i got these uh one and tomato uh, cubed up and tomato um, cubed up and then of course I'm gonna do one packet one packet first taste it add some lemon um, uh, and then uh, go ahead and uh, see if I uh, like the flavor so what's gonna first go in is going to be the pork about six to eight cups I'll tell you at the final the tomatoes the onions and one packet of tamarind if you can tell here um, you know, I, I, I did, I touched them a little earlier. They're hard still, so I'm gonna do about 10, uh, about 10 minutes. You know, let, let me let me say I'm gonna do 15 minutes, all right? And I'll see how it goes. So that's about, that's perfectly eight cups of water there. That's perfect. Uh, what I'm watching for is I'm watching for my line here. I don't know if you can see this line, but in a pressure cooker, you don't wanna fill that up. So that basically is eight cups of water, which is perfect for the, uh, the package. I'm gonna add the one onion in there. I'm gonna add my tomato in there. And then, here you go. Eight cups of water. Again, you know, this is uh, my first time doing this, so hopefully, between the packaging and my mom, <laughs> it'll be perfect. All right, so one package. You can always add this later, right? Um, and I'm gonna add the lemon later as well, even though uh, she said to go and add it now. I just want to make sure I don't over over flavor it. You know what I mean? I know I definitely want it uh, in that sour spectrum, right? But I don't want it to be uh, too sour. Um, so let's just say that she said a third cup of lemon, right? And the whole idea about pressure cooking is that you kind of speed up the process, especially with soups. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I got some, I got some uh, lemon right here that uh, was graciously given. I'm gonna do a third cup per what she was recommending. One third cup. I like to always mix everything beforehand for um, 10 minutes and let's see what it looks like. All right, I, I'm be going back between 10 and 15, but since I already boiled them, I'm gonna go and do 10, but I, but I do want them to be off the bone. Um, so uh, let's see how that goes, all right? All right, um, 15, 15 minutes later, I was wishy-washy, sorry about that in the webs peoples. But here it looks, first look. Okay, 15 minutes later, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how tender it is. Okay, look how boiling that is. I want, I want to see how tender the ribs are. Okay, it's, it's, it's tender. I don't know if you saw that. It's definitely tender. It's tender, right? And I like that. So 15 minutes is good. But remember, I still got to add the veggies, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add... The green beans. Okay. I'm going to add the green beans. Let's move it around in there. Ooh, I love that green. The green beans, right? So there's two options I can have. I can go ahead and pressure cook it. Right? I can pressure cook it like, let's say, um, five minutes. So I'm going to do that. But what I was going to say, the options are, is just to put the lid back on. And just wait and let it boil. You know, uh, what I've done is that before, because like I said, I put I put it on there right now. I lock it back up, right? 
And then, I don't like that noise. And then I can do a two minute boil, right? So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do a two minute boil, which really, in a pressure cooker, everybody knows that it takes two, it takes some time to get that two minutes. Cause I just wanna kinda just boil it in there, I don't wanna overcook it. And then when I put the mustard greens in there, that's where I'll do that second option, which is just basically, uh, so two options, right? Keep the green beans in there, lock it in tight, wait for a while. Wait 10 minutes, you know what I mean? And then, um, you know, I'm not gonna have dinner for like another hour. So I can actually do that, I can leave it inside here now, it's locked, it's ready to go. Um, or if, if people were already here, or they're going to be here pretty soon, then what I would do is I'll go ahead and do that two minutes, which is probably about a total of 10 minutes after it gets boiled and pressured. And then I add the mustard greens and then do that, open the lid, put it in there and just close it in for a little bit. So I got to decide that now. So I'm going to decide that now and I'm going to say, I'm going to do two minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, uh, and do my, um, do my settings for two minutes, all right? And then I'll show how it looks. And I'll, I'll also double check the meat and double check the green beans to make sure it's not overcooked, all right? All right, two minutes later, and you can reverse it to see what the options are gonna be. Two minutes later, I release the steam, right? Make sure you release the steam, very important. And I'll talk about some of that stuff. Here's what it looks like. water drain for the lid oh that looks good uh i don't know if i mentioned this already but man the house that was like city gang right city gang of course all right so let me mix it up all right you know that's i don't even gotta touch i don't even gotta touch the greens the greens are good but i'll, I'll poke the meat just to see where the meat's at the meat action is at right now so you know a couple things while i'm doing this right oh that's just that's just ooh, okay All right, that's good. That's good. That is perfect. That's perfect. Let me taste this. Perfect. I'm actually rinsing. You know, I gotta say that definitely is um, tangy. You know, that definitely tangy. So, uh, well, one last thing I wanted to show you guys is how the meat is. So this is basically 15 minutes. I'm saying that loud because I kept saying 10. Oh, that's that. 15 minutes, right? And then two minutes um, when I put the greens in there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, color, the mustard greens in. So this is what I'm saying. You could have done this with the green beans, right? So now I'm just gonna put the mustard greens in. I, I want, you have to taste it first, right? And once you taste it, then you gotta know, then, you know, do you add patis to it? Do you add, uh, do you add other, other, uh, you know, things you want to put more lemon, more of the tamarind sauce, all that kind of thing, right? So, man, look at the potato, look at the, look at the color in there. I love that stuff, man. And look at the line. Here's a line. I don't know if you can see that line here. That's what I was trying to watch out for when I put that eight cups of water in there. So what, how do we get to it? We did boiling of the pork, right? To get a clean broth, you know, that's my mom's, right? Other people just put it in here and then take the, that fat out of there, right? Um, this clean broth is a good, you know, I was worried about the flavor, but it is, I used ribs, so the bone is going to cause rib, it's going to cause flavor, but, um, that's just a different technique, right? So then I'm just going to lay this in there and I'm just going to close the lid and I'm going to just let it chill for like 10 minutes. And then this is how I'm not going to overcook the mustard greens. Now, you know, here's, here's the thing, right? When I was f trying to find the recipe, my mom was not a big, you know, two cups of this, four cups of this kind of person all my life. I just started cooking, right? And she never tells me that stuff, right? But I think now she's kind of like bending, bending for me in the sense of uh, she's uh, starting to realize I'm taking it seriously. Ooh, I can smell that. Cut the mustard greens in there. But when I say that, you got to use your, you know, your, between your appliance and then what your flavor is. This is my first time doing it. And I can tell you, I know what I want. A lot of the stuff that I wanted, I wanted to make sure there was more green beans in there. I love green beans. When I don't like it when I go to people's houses and they do synagogue, and then there's no um, green beans for my for my pork, right? So uh, two pounds, two and a half pounds of pork, eight cups of water, one packet of tamarind, tamarind um, about a pound and a half of greens, um, uh, one bundle of mustard greens, one tomato uh, uh, in cubes, one onion in uh, in a dice shaped fashion. 
Hopefully I didn't forget anything else. And if I did, you'll see in the video. But here's another thing. Why the pressure cooker? My thing, it's soup, right? So let me give you a little start. You know, every time I try to use the pressure cooker, a lot of people that know pressure cooker always go like, here's my mom. Anak! Bakit niya gamit mo yung pressure cooker? Bakit di mo gumilin yung, yung kadela? Which means, son, why are you using the gadget? How come you don't use just a regular big old school pot? And the main thing is because it's soup. If anybody's ever eaten soup, you appreciate when somebody makes you soup. But when you eat, when you eat soup the next day, much better. So the pressure cooker, if you don't know what it's doing, right it basically is not letting anything escape so when you put everything in the pressure cooker it's just not boiling it boils and it stays inside here right so when i say it stays inside here right now any there's no heat escaping because i closed it and i closed the top here so right now that mustard greens it's cooking it's cooking because this boiled water in here and it's causing heat inside here. Well, first of all, it's still on, so it's, it's, it's at warm temperature, right? So if you're cooking and you open it up, it's at warm temperature like a crock pot in the sense of uh, like the lowest setting, so it's, it's at low. But that's the reason why, you know? Um, for That's one main reason is because of the fact that all the ingredients are, are just three pounds of pressure, that's the average. They're just staying inside the pot, right? So when you put in a little bit of salt or, uh, you know, some greens in there, the greens are going to mix in with the meat. And if you ever taste anything coming out of a pressure cooker, that's what happens. Day one, minute one of when you take this out of here. Um, that's the reason why. But, you know, if you want to do the, the pot, uh, believe me, I mean, uh, it's always going to be appreciated, right? Because you're sitting there and you're, you're, making, you're watching things. And sometimes when you cook, that's what you want to do. You, wanna, you want to enjoy the art of cooking. Um, and I do it, and look, look, I'm making videos, right? But that's the reason why I use the pressure cooker um, versus uh, a big pot. If you're cooking sinigang in a regular pot, to make, the one thing you want to do is make that meat tender, right? You want to make sure it's tender. I'm doing more than making sure it's tender. I'm making sure it's tender, and I'm making sure the flavor's packed in there. Um, so that's it. This is a longer video than most, but this is my one of my favorite dishes. I've waited to cook this one because I wanted to make sure it was right. Um, and it's and it's going so right now it's about seven minutes. Let's just fully open this right now. Okay, you see the steam. I'm gonna go ahead and see how the mustard greens are doing. See that? That's perfect. Look at that. That's the will. That's. Can you see that? You see how it's you see how it's going? See how it's still crispy here? Right? I don't know if you can see that, but you see how that's what you want. You want some of your stuff really tender, and then you want some of your stuff just, look at that. Look at that, the green. Between the green of the mustard greens. Now it's not overcooked. You know how it goes. Come on, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not faulting anybody. But, you know, you go into somebody's house, and what do you get? You get some, by the time you get there, you get the leftovers, and then nothing is even, nothing is, tender it's overcooked the colors all off but there you go right let me just let me just because you know the mustard greens make a flavor man man all right Woo. and that's good you know I, I, if anything let me let me tell you i probably put another tomato in there but man that that's gonna be on my plate right now all right so that's it this is a longer one but man look at that look at that see all that steam it's flavor woo, 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 woo. all right thank you buddy